Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Tay. I pray that you all have been doing well and excellent and just letting God lead you daily. May peace be with you every day. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for who you are. We praise you. We put you first, God. We give you the honor. We give you the praise and all the glory that's through your name. Thank you just for who you are. I pray for those who hear this message, God, that they have ears to hear. Let them have ears. Those who have ears, let them hear. I pray that their hearts are not hardened to your word, that they'll be able to receive your word. When they hear your word, they'll be able to receive it and grasp onto it and hold it tightly close to them, God, and receive every word that comes out of your mouth, God. I thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing. I thank you for who you are. I pray for those who need to hear this message, God. Let them receive it. Let them hear it. Let it minister to them, God. I pray that they don't see me, but they see you, Jesus, and I want you to get all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. So I'm glad that you all are here today tuning in to this message, a very important message. And the title of my study today is The Power of God's Love. The Power of God's Love. How many know that there's power in the love of Jesus? There's power in the love of Jesus. Do you know that he loves you today? Do you know that you are loved? Let us go. Please get your notepads, your highlighters, your Bible, and let us study to show ourselves approved. So we're going to go to Romans chapter 8, verses 28 through 39. And I have my study notes here, so I'm going to be reading out of that mostly. But please get your Bible and study to show yourself approved. Romans 8. Verses 28 through 29. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate, hallelujah, to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not whip him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God. Hallelujah. Who also maketh intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ. Shall tribulation. Or distress. Or persecution. Or famine. Or nakedness. Or peril. Or sword. As it is written. For thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, hallelujah, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord, hallelujah. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. Nothing can separate you from the love of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I think about this, I just praise him. When I thank him, thank him for loving us. Oh, hallelujah. 
Romans 5 verse 8 in the Amplified Version reads, Oh, hallelujah. But God clearly shows and proves his own love for us by the fact that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Just grasp at, grasp at that point right there. Ponder that for a moment. While you were yet sinners, he died on the cross for your sins and for my sins. We were saved. We were lost and on our way to hell. We were sinning against him. We were his enemy. But he still died on the cross for our sins. Oh, thank him and praise him. Hallelujah. Now go with me to Ephesians chapter 1 verses 4 through 5. And I'm going to be reading in the Amplified Version. Just got tears in my eyes just thinking about God's love for me and for us. Just as in His love, He chose us in Christ, actually selected us for Himself as His own before the foundation of the world, so that we would be holy, that is, consecrated, set apart for Him, purpose-driven, and blameless in his sight, in love. He predestined and lovingly planned for us to be adopted to himself as his own children through Jesus Christ in accordance with the kind intention and good pleasure of his will. So he chose us, hallelujah. He chose us before the foundation of this world. He predestined you. He planned and arranged for you to be his own child. His own child, hallelujah. In John chapter 15, verses 9 through 11 in the Amplified Version, if you go there. It says, I have loved you just as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love, <clears throat> excuse me, and do not doubt my love for you. If you keep my commandments and obey my teaching, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in His love, I have told you these things so that my joy and delight may be in you, and that your joy may be made full and complete and overflowing. Now we're going to go to Philippians chapter 2 verse 8. And I'm going to be reading in the Amplified Version. So please go there. Philippians chapter 2 verse 8. After he was found in terms of his outward appearance as a man for a divinely appointed time. He humbled himself still further, be becoming obedient to the Father, to the point of death, even death on a cross. Hallelujah. Jesus was even obedient to God, even in death. Even in death, he humbled himself. He loved you just that much to humble himself and, and be obedient to God in that time. To die on the cross for your sins. To die on the cross for my sins. Thank him and praise him right now in the name of Jesus. God has been so good to you. You need to worship him. You need to praise him. The power of God's love. Oh, the power of God's love casts out all fear. The power of God's love takes away every depression, takes away the anxiety, takes away those lies that the enemy is telling you. The power of God's love will fill you with his joy, unspeakable. The power of God's love will give you peace that passes all understanding. The power of God's love will remove anything that's in you, in your heart, and in your mind is not like him. The power of God's love chose you. Hallelujah. Before the foundation of this world, he predestined you. He chose you to be adopted, to be his own. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. He predestined you. He chose you and me.
<laughs> he didn't have to. He didn't get murdered. But he gave up his life for you and for me. Hallelujah. Thank him. Let us go into my summary notes of the study. Never underestimate God's love for you. Never underestimate it. Jesus Christ obeyed God even unto death to die on the cross for your sins. He asked God, if possible, hallelujah, to please let this cup pass me by. Oh, you have to excuse me. Oh, the Holy Spirit is moving within me in this message. I got to pray my strength in the Lord to get through it. Oh. In Matthew 26, 39, it talks about how Jesus asked God to please let this cup pass me by. Because he was fully God, but he was also fully man. And he, he had those... He didn't want to go through that pain. So he asked God to please, if possible, to let this cup pass me by. But he said, if your will, God, I want your will to be done. He knew the excruciating pain he would endure. However, he obeyed God's will. God arranged for us to be conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. God chose us before the foundation of the world to be adopted as his own children. Nothing, nothing can separate you from his unconditional love. Nothing can separate you. Not death, life, principalities, the power of evil, things in the past, present, or things to come. Nothing can separate you. You're victorious in Jesus Christ. You're more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. Speak those things daily, those affirmations. Speak those things and believe it and know that you're victorious in Jesus Christ. You're not a victim, but you're victorious. Hallelujah in Jesus. Jesus Christ loves you and has made the ultimate sacrifice for you and for me. Study God's word for yourself to be approved. Seek Jesus Christ every day. There is power in God's love. He loves you dearly. Nothing you could do could ever make Jesus to stop loving you. Nothing will lessen God's love for you. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you all. And I pray that this message has ministered to you all today and that you truly grasp a hold of the power of God's love and truly read God's word daily and know how much he loves you. Know your worth in Jesus. Know who you are in Jesus. Never settle for any less than God's best. Know your worth, ladies. Know your worth, gentlemen. Know who you are in God's word and don't let the devil deceive you because he's out to kill, steal, and destroy your life. Life. Spiritual warfare is real, so don't be naive to the spiritual warfare and attacks of the enemy. Stay armored up with the full armor of God. Know that Jesus Christ loves you. Choose who you will serve today. You can't have two masters. You can't be lukewarm, but you need to be on fire for Jesus Christ. Either you're going to live for God or you're going to die. You need to live for God. Are you going to choose God or are you going to choose to serve the devil? And if you choose to serve the devil, that leads to death and destruction. So I pray for you today. I give God the praise. I give God the glory for giving me this message, giving me the opportunity to minister to you all on this platform. I pray that these messages have been ministering to you all. And I don't want you to look at me, but I give God the glory, the Holy Spirit that's working in me. I thank Him and I praise Him. I praise His holy name. I pray for those who heard this message today, that they have an understanding of God's love for them, that they begin to study God's word to show themselves approved, not to take my word on it, but to really study for themselves and to seek that intentional relationship with Jesus. Be intentional. It's not about what you what you done in your past it's not about past mistakes it's not about anything in this world but it's about focusing on jesus christ and serving him he loves you so much 
Love yourself, forgive yourself, and know that God's love will never change. His love will never fail. Hallelujah. Be blessed. Stay encouraged. Tune in every third Sunday at 7 a.m. for my latest videos. If you can like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you will stay up to date on all my latest videos. That would be a great support for my channel. And I just give God the glory, and I give God the praise. Stay encouraged. Be blessed. I love you. Jesus loves you. God bless you today. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you.